Norman, bad news. I never graduated from med school. But the good news is, Xfinity Mobile just got even better. Now, you can automatically connect to Wi-Fi speeds up to a gig on the go. Plus, buy one unlimited line and get one free for a year. I gotta get this deal. That's like $20 a month per unlimited line. I don't want to miss that. That's amazing. Mobile savings are calling. Visit XfinityMobile.com to learn more. Huh? There's only one way to make the impossible possible. That's a bit of cheating. There's only one way to smash your goals while smashing nacho cheese chips. You guessed it. Cheating! Woo! Yeah, it's cheating. And there's only one way to make a commercial with Kamel Nanjiani, even though he's currently competing in a triathlon in Hawaii. By cheating. Big on protein, low on sugar, huge on flavor. It's basically cheating. Quest, it's basically cheating. You're watching the Chipotle Basketball Nationals, presented by the Army National Guard. For the first time, this tournament is in the Hoosier State, just west of Indianapolis in Brownsburg, Indiana. At Brownsburg High School, our third boys quarterfinal, the three seed prolific prep from Napa, California, and the champions of this event a year ago, the six seed, the Link Academy Lions from Branson, Missouri. Winner here moves on to play the two seed, Paul the six, which cracked 100, led by Darren Harris's 36 points in our first game of the boys' bracket. Columbus onto the semifinals with the Boozer Twins and the Richardson brothers as they beat Long Island Lutheran. And hi there and welcome courtside along with ESPN's National Director of Recruiting, Paul Biancardi. I'm Ted Emmerich. Every year at this tournament, 15 years now, Chipotle Nationals has been running. We say we're seeing the future of college basketball and beyond. We're definitely saying that for this game coming up. Oh, this game has massive star power. 11 ranked players, including four McDonald's All-Americans. I expect this to be a high scoring game. This tournament dates back to 2009. Avery Bradley, the Texas Longhorn, leading Finley Prep to the national title at the high school level. Well, we've got a future Longhorn in this game. Trey Johnson of Link Academy and for prolific prep. How about a top 10 player in the senior class as well? Alabama commit Darion Reed, who has been hurt most of the year, returned early in March. And that could make a huge difference this week for prolific prep. Let's start, though, with Trey Johnson and what you like the most about his game. Well, Trey Johnson has been a top five player in his class since his sophomore year. That's a major sign of talent and consistency. It's the three-point shot. It's the pull-up jump shot. He has an NBA scoring package. He's become a much better passer at link. And on the other side, Darion Reed, this guy is loaded with versatility. How about that pull-up jump shot? Again, the shot fake shot, scores it at all different levels. He's 6'7", Nate Oates is gonna love him at Alabama next season. Yeah, Bama in its first ever Final Four later this week, and Darion Reed is not the only future member of the Crimson Tide in the prolific starting lineup. Aiden Shirell at 6'11", also headed to Tuscaloosa. A.J. DeBonso, the number one junior in the country. Tyron Stokes, the number one sophomore in the nation. And as for Link, brand new team after they won Chipotle Nationals a year ago in Fort Myers. That team was led by Jacoby Walter and Elliot Cadeau. This team led by Johnson, Kansas signee LeBaron Phylon. Top 10 junior Jasper Johnson, no relation to Trey. Jalen Shelley and James Brown. The North Carolina signee in the middle, and yes, he's got the glasses on. Another rematch here at Chipotle Nationals. These two teams met in a game that feels like ages ago. December 2nd, prolific prep won at 77-76, and we can only hope for a game as good here today. Oh, this game is loaded with versatile wing players. You look at Tyron Stokes and A.J. DeBonsa for prolific prep Trey Johnson Jasper Johnson for link guys that have size length skill and great athleticism Link Academy at 25 and 6 on the year Jasper Johnson Boy, he can hit the three with regularity miss this first shot though how much confidence does Bill Armstrong have in him the first play is run for the junior 
prolific at 33 and 5. They weren't at full strength most of the season. Aiden Shirell follows up for the game's first points. Aiden Shirell, fresh off McDonald's All American game. Had some really good practices, showed his footwork, his touch, and his ability to crash the offensive glass. This is just the eighth game for Prolific with everyone healthy in the lineup as Jalen Shelley from Little Elm, Texas, north of Dallas, scores for Link. Now Shelley signed with Arkansas, but Eric Musselman, now officially the head coach at USC. The coaching, so we'll see how that plays out. Yeah, the coaching portal is hot right now. <laughs> Always busy this time of year. Tyrant Stokes in the lane, draws the foul. Oh, this kid plays with so much energy and joy. Tyrant Stokes, and built like a man, <laughs> just 15 years old. Great passer, shooter, driver, plays the game with Terrific force when he gets downhill. There's not many that will stop him or even contain him a five-star prospect Number one in the class of 2026 and the one returning starter for a prolifics team a year ago They had their hearts ripped out by IMG in the quarterfinals of this tournament Stokes was in shock on the floor after blue cane hit that buzzer beater Ryan Bernardi his coach told us that when he brought up that loss a year ago, on two occasions, two separate occasions, Stokes broke down in tears both times. He has been so driven to make sure something like that doesn't happen again this year. Yeah, he wears his heart on his sleeve, Tyron Stokes. LeBaron Phylon getting downhill for Link Academy. Phylon is a terrific offensive talent. Number one in the black going to play for Bill Self at Kansas. Reed bottled up in the corner by James Brown. Here is Stokes. Drawing the foul <laughs> from Brown. And he plays with all out force, Tyron Stokes. I'm not sure who created the contact on that one, but Brown was moving. Stokes created the contact. Well, Paulie, that's big. Two quick fouls here on James Brown. The North Carolina signee, but Brown remains in there in the middle for Lake. And now the pick by Phylon. He's got Jasper Johnson on the wing. Wait for Stokes challenged the shot. I'd have gotten a piece of it. And they took a two-on-one where they could have had a layup. They went for the three-point shot. A.J. DeBonso, the number one junior. No, Sherell trying to keep it alive. DeBonso missed the tip-in. And Shelley clears it for Link. Shelly's going to have to be a presence on the glass in this game because Prolific has great across the board size with DeBonsa, Stokes, of course, Aiden Shirell in the middle at 6'11. This is a big, athletic, strong team. And a prolific team that has come the closest to beating number one Montverde compared to everyone else. On Montverde's schedule, two losses in January by a combined 11 points, and both of them without Darion Reed. Because they have the physicality, they have the talent, they have the size to score and defend with Montverde. And don't forget Zoom Diallo, we haven't seen him yet. He's going to come off the bench, 6'4 point guard. And Sherell scores inside. Sherell, Reed, and Diallo, all McDonald's All Americans this year for Prolific. Yeah, Sherell just has beautiful footwork inside. Knows where he is with his back to the basket, and he can sprinkle in the three-point shot. Trey Johnson, nice feed inside to James Brown for the bucket. Right, Trey Johnson coming off a big McDonald's All-American week down in Houston. He showed out in his home state, hit five threes in the game on Tuesday. Yeah, he's going to be impact for Texas. Darion Reed splashes in the th prolific on top. Now, Reed missed 17 games this year with a knee injury, Paul. When he's in the lineup, Prolific is 20-1 and one this season. He brings not only offensive versatility, but he brings a defensive presence. The ability to switch and rebound, he also can take it off the glass and go. 
Trey Johnson draws the foul, sending us to our first timeout. Two Alabama recruits getting it done early in this game. Sherelle with the left, beautiful jump hook. And Darion Reed, the catch, the shoot, and the knockdown. So beautiful. Morning, Rob. Looking great. Does that say USAA? Yeah, USAA. Amazing home, auto, and life insurance. Plus banking and credit cards. I'm in because of my dad. You think that'll finally get you in? Probably not. But it looks great. USAA, for the military community and their families. Perfection. Here's to a new feeling. One where comfort follows your definition and every move feels weightless. Here's to unlocking absolute confidence. Chipotle Basketball Nationals presented by Army National Guard is brought to you by Chipotle. Real ingredients, real flavor, Chipotle for real. And Army National Guard, the next generation is now. Here in Indianapolis, just west in Brownsburg, prolific prep up by a point. Our third boys quarterfinal, the 3-6 matchup. Well, two players for prolific on their way to Tuscaloosa, part of a top five recruiting class for Nate Oates. He just led Alabama to its first Final Four ever, and he's got a star-studded class led by Darion Reed and Aiden Shirev. Yeah, two McDonald's All-Americans, two stars that know how to fit in with their team. You look at this prolific team with DeBonser and Stokes, mega talent. You got Zoom Diallo at the point. These two guys understand what they're good at, and they play to their strengths. I love how both of them, Paul, say, I love how Alabama plays. We know with NATOs, they're top 10 in the nation in tempo. They're top 10 in offensive efficiency. It's about layups. It's about threes. And that suits Reed's and Sherrell's games to a T. And on the defensive end, Alabama is known for switching one through five. Darion Reed could switch one through four for sure. And Aiden Sherrell, he could cover a four or a five. May struggle away from the basket, but I'll tell you what, he covers ground quickly, number 22 in the white. Trey Johnson on his way to the SEC as well with Texas. Yeah, Texas. That didn't sound right. a pair, yeah. That, that's how it is. He ties the score at seven. Oh, nice. Stokes the spin, blocked at the rim by T.O. Barrett. It was a defensive difference maker off the bench for Link. Winners Grady trying to cover Trey Johnson. And out of bounds to Link. I don't think in this game with the defense being so good that you can make one pass and shoot it. Now, I know Trey Johnson is a great shot maker, but the defense by Prolific, you're going to have to move the defense to get a clear look at the basket. Prolific ball here. And Zoom Diallo has checked in. The third McDonald's All-American for Prolific to go with Reed and Sherrell. Prolific coaching staff telling us that it's been a lot of travel for Diallo lately as he misses the jumper. Donald's game, he was back home in the Ivory Coast sorting out his passport ahead of the Nike Hoop Summit for a couple of weeks in March. And they want to be able to maximize his minutes. They just felt it was the best plan to bring him off the bench here today. Grady misses the three. No, I like the move by the coaching staff. Give him a chance to see the game develop. Rest his legs for a few minutes. He's also observing Ramadan right now. He's fasting from sunrise to sunset. Sherelle with the block on Trey Johnson. So he'll be able to eat after tonight's game is over. We'll get him some Chipotle tonight. <laughs> Aiden Sherelle anticipates so well as a weak side shot blocker. So he came from the right side of the floor to the left side to erase that shot. I mean, he's going to be a massive presence for Nate Oates. And a guy who's going to play a lot of minutes right away. I mean, he's that modern big man, right? He is. He, he doesn't shoot threes, but he can make threes. Oh 
Five to shoot here for Jasper Johnson. Trying to get around Reed. Oh, high over Sherrell. And Reed vacuums it in. So far, Reed and Sherrell have impacted this game for prolific. And a blocking foul on LeBaron Phylon. One more quarterfinal to come here at Chipotle Nationals in the boys' bracket. Undefeated Montverde in the eight-seed AZ Compass. I'm watching this game. I'm so excited. I see the matchup for the next game. I get more excited. <laughs> the talent here at Chipotle Nationals is the best ever. Mikey Lewis, part of that talented group. He's headed to St. Mary's, and he hits the three. Just think about this. 37 ranked players spread out over eight teams, including nine McDonald's All-Americans. Unheard of. And 11 of them in this game. Four McDonald's All-Americans. T.J. Stutley off the sidestep. Reed was able to gather. DePonza gives it up. Grady is fouled. So three free throws for Winters Grady, the junior from Lake Oswego, Oregon. Well, you can see prolific prep wants to play really fast. And they want an up and down game without the whistle. They go from defense to offense. They're looking to push. They're looking to score in the first five or six seconds. Link doing a nice job getting back, setting their defense. But this team can shoot quick, and they can score quick. ABC Saturday NHL doubleheader. Lightning and the Penguins in Pittsburgh at 1 Eastern. Then Coach B is all about this. The Bees against the Panthers. Coverage beginning 1230 Eastern, ABC in ESPN Plus. David Pasternak and company. Boston on top of the Atlantic Division right now. That's what I love to hear. On top. Yeah. Everybody from Boston on top. Red Sox are undefeated. <laughs> Celtics are going to win the NBA championship. And the Patriots will be back next season. Well, we'll see about that last one. But I'm with you on the Celtics. Already clinching oh, the number one seed in the East. Yeah, but you're a Dallas guy, so you're a Cowboys guy, and you want to bash the Patriots. I get it. Got nothing against the Patriots. They've been down for a little bit here at the end of Belichick's tenure, but interested to see what they can do with Gerard Mayo. Might take some time. I'll be young quarterback at least. Catch and shoot for T.O. Barrett. And he drills the three. Wide open, feet set, ready to shoot it. Link had missed their last five shots before the Missouri signee put it in. He's got a toughness about him. And they're going to need it in this game against Prolific. Inside a minute to go in the quarter. Darion Reed trying to answer. Great block out by Jasper Johnson. Barrett again, the kick. Dropped by Stutley. And T.O. Barrett offline this time. Brandon Benjamin offensive board, but a foul. He pushed off. Well, the pace right now favors Link Academy. As I said a few minutes ago, prolific. They'd love this game to go up and down without the whistle. They have the athletes. They have the talent. The more possessions for prolific, the better. And, and Link wants to shorten this game down, wants to shrink the possessions. Now prolific in the bonus with that foul on Benjamin. So Darion Reed at the line. What do you like most about Darion Reed? Uh, those top three things describe him exceptionally well. Very good at the catch and shoot three. An exceptional finisher inside, especially along the baseline. And he is a great switch defender. You know, he brings everything that you want in that versatile small forward position. And he's smart, he can make the pass as well. And as I said, he's a star who knows how to fit in with other players. When he returned three weeks ago, his first game, he told Ryan Bernardi, his coach, man, I was awful, I felt rusty, I was slow. 
The jumper hasn't come all the way back, but that might be the last thing to come for Reed as he rounds into four. You know, he didn't look 100% at McDonald's, but I think that McDonald's practices, the scrimmage, and the game got him ready for Chipotle Nationals. Johnson fading, no. Loose ball. On a travel called on prolific prep and Reed as he's trying to come up with it. So link ball here, 5.9. Yeah, Reed being out for so long, I think McDonald's really helped him. Other guys, you know, they have to be careful not to be over fatigued when they show up here. Bylon triggers in. Shelly. And Stokes has it. Here's the heave. And we're done with the first in our third quarterfinal at Chipotle Nationals. Prolific prep up four. Week two in the UFL starts Saturday with the Brahmas and the Showboats, noon Eastern on ESPN, then at eight on ABC, the Arlington Renegades and the St. Louis Battlehawks. Sunday, the Birmingham Stallions and the Michigan Panthers kick off at noon Eastern on ESPN, then the Roughnecks and the DC Defenders at four o'clock on Fox. See the football field here at Brownsburg High School in Indiana. The Bulldogs, two time state champions here in Indiana in 1984 and 85. We are crowning a national champion in high school basketball this week at Chipotle Nationals. Paulie, we're saying in every game, the talent just off the charts. Nine five star recruits in the class of 2024 in this tournament. When you look at this list, you're blown away by the talent here. VJ Edscombe had a good game this afternoon. Not a great game, but a good game. And he was fantastic at McDonald's. Donovan Freeman gave it everything he had for IMG. They came up short against Paul the Sixth. Tonight we're going to see Liam McNeely. It's Cooper Flagg. Trey Johnson's in this game. When the best go against the best, Ted, there's nowhere to hide. And you saw there was no college next to Liam McNeely's name, who we'll see in our last quarterfinal, the top undecided player in the nation after he decommitted from Indiana in late February. Hearing from a lot of schools right now, Kansas, Yukon, Kentucky, and Michigan. In fact, speaking of undecided players, we will have a college announcement coming up at the half from victorious V.J. Miller of AZ Compass. Stokes out of the shot clock and heading the other way with Link. So V.J. Miller, top 50 player in the senior class, getting ready to take on Montverde at 8 Eastern right here on ESPNU. Miller decommitted from Oregon last Friday. Quick turnaround. He's ready to announce where he's going with us coming up at the half. Jasper Johnson is fouled. And so Johnson, the junior, will have three free throws. Jasper Johnson gets into his jump shot so quickly. He's got a quick trigger as well. You know, his feet set up quickly. He lines it up. He's got great range, one of the best shooters in the junior class. And I love his size at about 6'4". Johnson, such a pure shooter. Spent last year at Woodford County High School, native of Lexington. And oh, by the way, yes, Kentucky is involved in his recruitment. Reclassifying to 2024 is an option still, but at the moment, a member of the junior class in 2025. comes the press from Link, and they back off. One point game here, early second quarter. It's been a good back and forth so far. The defense has been excellent. The athletes are controlling the paint right now on the defensive end. Stokes trying to get around James Brown. What a pass to Darion Reed. When you look at Stokes, you see rebounder, driver, finisher, shooter. He is an outstanding playmaker. Jasper Johnson finds James Brown, offensive foul. 
So Reed with the bucket at one end, and he takes the charge at the other. That's the versatility in, in his game, Darion Reed. Reads the play, steps in, takes the charge, a high IQ defender and offensive player. So that turns out to be the second foul on Brown. There was an initial call in the first quarter. We thought it was on James Brown. It was switched. So two on Brown, not three here. Stokes trying to turn the corner. Couldn't do it. Darion Reed. Trey Johnson won a state championship in Texas at Lake Highlands a year ago, spending his senior year at Lake. And the toughest high school basketball conference in the country, the Nike EYBL Scholastic. Shelly, no. Lewis feeds DeBonza, top-ranked junior in the country. And DeBonza got squeezed. Trey Johnson on the break. Shelly, another DFW native with the jam. You love saying DFW. Can't get enough. Tell you what, versatile athlete, high-level competitor. Still working on his shooting, but I'll tell you what, inside the arc, he makes a difference. Tyron Stokes left it short. And Shelley with another rebound, his fifth. Yeah, Link Academy has built a nice little DFW pipeline to Branson, Missouri in their three years as a program. Remember Jordan Walsh a couple of years ago, McDonald's All-American, now with the Celtics. And of course, Jacoby Walter on last year's national championship team. This year, Trey Johnson and Jalen Shelley coming from DFW. Six to shoot. Phylon, no look, and the dunk by Jackson Ford. He's from DFW as well, from Prosper. LeBaron Phylon has turned himself into a playmaker at Link Academy under Bill Armstrong. Came in as a high-scoring guard, understands he has to give it up because he's got so much talent around him. A.J. DeBonta, plenty of talent there, too. We said in the open, this game has the most talent of all the games this afternoon. It also has outstanding athletes making spectacular plays up at the rim. That was DeBonzo's first bucket of the night. Phylon. And DeBonzo with the board. Native of Brockton, Massachusetts. I know you love that. And he gets the friendly bounce. Timeout for Bill Armstrong and Link Academy. A.J. DeBonza for prolific. Tight ropes the baseline for a slam. And a second time in the paint. Pull up. What's Nance doing now that he's not calling March Madness? Chuck has no fees or minimums on his Capital One checking account. But does he remember his pen? It's a swish. All sync. Hello, friend. You need a hobby. Here's to a new feeling. One where comfort follows your definition and every move feels weightless. Here's to unlocking absolute confidence. New projects means new project managers. You need to hire. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. When you sponsor a job, you immediately get your short list of quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job criteria. Visit indeed.com slash hire and get started today. Welcome back to Chipotle Basketball Nationals presented by Army National Guard. The 3-6 matchup here in the quarterfinals. Prolific prep up three over Link Academy. The champions from a year ago. Ted Emmerich, Paul Biancardi, our entire crew just west of Indianapolis at Brownsburg High School. A.J. Dubonza, number one junior in the country with back-to-back -back buckets leading to the Link timeouts. And how about the experience that DeBonza had recently in 
the last year with Kevin Durant, with LeBron, with Jalen Brown. Going to talk about McDonald's All-Americans. AJ DeBonza might have that in his future next year as a senior. He was one of the stars of high school basketball in the summer when he was considered a freshman and a rising sophomore, reclassified to the junior class. Just has exploded in the last nine months or so. And now the defensive play by DeBonza. Knocking out of the hands of Trey Johnson. Yeah, he's so gifted, he's smart. And an elite athlete. You talk about NBA boards down the line. The NBA knows his name right now. Under 10 to shoot. Winners, Grady, deep three. Phylon on the run. And blocked by Tyrant Stokes. Stokes meets him at the apex. And Stokes is slow to get up. Prolific playing four on five here. Now Stokes will come into your picture. Number four in white. Is he going to hit the three? Oh, can you imagine after the block? And out of bounds to Lake. This block was sensational. Watch him go up with two hands. Great verticality to block it. Didn't commit the foul, didn't goaltend. Beautiful chase down block by Tyron Stokes. It just shows you his elite athletic ability and force at a young age. Glad he's all right, too, after that fall. I think the floor got hurt when he <laughs> landed. That's how strong he is. Offensive rebound, Jackson Ford with the putback. He's headed to Sam Houston to play for the regular season champions in Conference USA this year. Stokes gives it up. And Grady off target. Oh, Trey Johnson, you talk about it. NBA scoring patch, he's got all the moves in that package. And Jackson Ford misses at the rim. He's got great footwork in range. Diallo off balance. Link a chance to take the lead again. Catch and shoot for Jalen Shelley. And a timeout here for Prolific. So a timeout with 1.37 to go. And coming up at the half, victorious V.J. Miller of AZ Compass Prep, number 41 player in the ESPN 100, announces where he's heading to college. Just decommitted from Oregon last Friday night. And less than a week later, he knows where he's headed after all. A talented young player inside the top 50 for Arizona Compass Prep. Scores the ball so well. Shoots it from the outside. He's a playmaker. Big wing on the defensive end. He's going to have to come up big tonight against Montverde. Uh, AZ Compass and number one Montverde 30 and 0 on the year. That's our last quarterfinal at 8 Eastern here on ESPNU. And Miller's announcement coming up at the half. Low scoring first half here with Prolific and Link Academy. And, and it fits the way Link wants to play. They, they want this in a half court set pace affair. Prolific loves to go up and down. They, they want transition all game long. So I think Link has controlled the tempo of this game and their defense has been terrific. They've been great on the glass. Ibanza, that big guard at 6'8. Eight. eight to shoot here. Ran into the double, and a nice feed to Darion Reed for two. Oh, that was a next level pass by A.J. DiBanza. Pylon threw it over the head of Trey Johnson. And a foul called. You know, it's one thing not to turn it over against the double, but they squeezed him on the baseline, and somehow, just somehow, he found Reed cutting under the basket. Shows you the IQ of AJ DiBanza. I love the flex after the pass too. Usually you see the flux, the, the flex after the finish. It's okay to flex after you dish it to your teammate. He, he enjoys facilitating as much as he does scoring. You know what he enjoys the most? Winning. 
as I mentioned earlier, Boozer, Flag, DeBonza, outstanding players. They're the next wave of great players in the high school, college game, and beyond. And they set the tone with their intensity and their team play. They're different types of number one guys, and I think they're going to be a great role model for the kids that are in elementary school right now and middle school. And you can just tell after being with NBA scouts this week in Houston how excited they are for those number one players coming through the pipeline in high school basketball. Everything they're showing at such a young age. Ibanza misses the three here. Well, they have a great approach and they have an NBA mindset, a professional mindset. Johnson just threw it up. And it'll stay with Link. Link didn't return a single player from their Chipotle National Championship team a year ago. Bill Armstrong says that his team has understood the value of defense and how to play together. Now at the end of the season, they're peaking. Johnson way off. DeBonza at 6'8 is covering Trey Johnson at 6'6. You mentioned it, Ted. He's a scoring guard, but he stands at 6'8. And he's got a 7'1 wingspan. Slight difference between the clocks here. Lewis finds Grady. And he hits the three. Just a matter of time for Grady. Maybe the best jump shooter in this game. And that says a lot. You got Trey Johnson, Darion Reed, Jasper Johnson. But Winters Grady, when he can line it up with time and space, is pure. So eight seconds to play in the half. Shelly against Grady. The step back, long two. So prolific with a six point lead on their way to the locker room here in the quarterfinals at Chipotle High School Nationals. Coming up, he's sitting down. He'll be with us right after the break. Victorious Miller announces where he's heading to college right after this. More prolific prep at the We welcome you back to Chipotle Basketball Nationals presented by Army National Guard. At Brownsburg High School, west of Indianapolis, the three seat prolific prep up by six over Link Academy, defending champions from a year ago as we start the second half. So glad you're with us. He's Paul Biancardi. I'm Ted Emmerich. A, a bit of a sluggish start for both teams, especially the stars in this game, the McDonald's All-Americans. But uh, it's going to come down to which star is able to rise up here in the second half. I'll tell you what happened in the first half. The defense and the athleticism by each team, they took over this game. The shooting percentages are awful because the defense is outstanding. And Aiden Shirell's part of that defense, certainly, at 6'11", for prolific prep. What did you think of his first half? Well, he impacts the game in the paint. The ability to finish, he's long and athletic. He's making post moves at a higher rate right now. How about that left hand? But the defense is where he stands out. The shot blocking ability, the ability to change shots, alter shots, rebound, run the floor. He's going to play for Nate Oates next season at Alabama. So is Darion Reed, his teammate at Prolific. Eight points to lead all scorers. Trey Johnson looking very different compared to the McDonald's All-American game Tuesday night in Houston when he hit five threes. He's 0 of 6 from the floor. One point and two assists. But you have to know this about Trey Johnson. He can get hot quickly. You get him shots early in the third quarter. You try to get him maybe something going to the basket. Let him see the ball go in. Uh, he can have a huge second half for Link, no doubt about it. That's why he was a McDonald's All-American. The winner to face the two seed, Paul the sixth, which put up 101 points in our first boys quarterfinal, beating IMG, ran away with it in the second half. Darren Harris had 36 points. And Trey Johnson would love to draw some inspiration from Harris's 19-point third quarter earlier today. 
Let's see what Bill Armstrong does to get him a shot early in this third quarter. Well, they're in fine line with the first shot of the third, and it's right down the shoot for three. Well, Trey Johnson came off the screens, but he wasn't open, and he made the assist. Good start for Trey. Stokes on the move, number one sophomore in the country, and he's fouled. I yeah. always look for guys, Ted, that have a bad first half and how they start the second half. What's their body language like? How much are they into the game from a mental standpoint? And Trey Johnson just made a beautiful assist to LeBaron Pylon. And now Stokes at the line for a prolific as James Brown, Link's big man, headed to North Carolina, picks up his third. James Stokes? Yeah, James Brown, part of that class with Ian Jackson and Drake Powell. Big class for North Carolina. Now you wonder if Bill Armstrong will sub him out here. It doesn't appear as if he will. So let him play with the three personals. Link, not a very deep team, especially in the front court. He's going to see major minutes next season at North Carolina with Amando Baycott. Leaving. He is leaving, isn't it? You sure he doesn't have another year of eligibility? He, he may have a seventh year. <laughs> and Brown puts it in. Right on cue, staying out there with the three personals. Again, Trey Johnson with the assist on the open side pick and roll. DeBonza muscles his way to the rack. He tips it in. No, the basket will not count. Fouled before the putback. A.J. DeBonza is so quick with the ball in his hands. Gets to the rim, two dribbles. Looks like he got fouled on the floor. And it was on James Brown, so that's his fourth. And Brown has to come out now. And if you're James Brown, you hate to say it, but you just let him get to the basket so you avoid a foul and stay into the game. James Brown, he doesn't feel good. <laughs> Thank you for the courtesy laugh. DeBonza at the line as Brown takes a seat. I mean, just look at DeBonza. All of 6'8", 7'1 wingspan, natural scoring ability. The versatility, folks, is elite on both ends because he can handle it, he can shoot it, finish, and he's a great switch defender. One, two, and three. Trey Johnson, another nice find. This time to Jackson Ford, who just replaced Brown. Same play they just ran in the last possession. Bill oh. Armstrong going to what works. Stokes, the spin. Way short. Reed with the putback on the other side. In four McDonald's All-Americans in this game, including Reed. And Trey Johnson for Link. By line. Oh, contorting his body for two. Yeah, he is quick to the basket. The lob, DeBonza, Stokes with the finish. Number one to number one. Jasper Johnson, the step back over Stokes. And now the steal. Try to keep it alive. And a foul called against Jasper Johnson, his second. The action has been incredible. We are seeing the future stars of college basketball and the NBA draft down the road. You can see why NBA scouts are already very interested in A.J. DeBonza, do you see any similarities coming off the McDonald's game? We saw Ace Bailey, number two player in the senior class, that long, big, athletic guard. Yeah, A.J. DeBonza has better guard skills than Ace Bailey. I'm not saying, I think Bailey's a better shooter right now, but I think DeBonza has the skills. There are NBA scouts at this game right now. They're in the building. They've been here all afternoon. Sherell drains the three at 6-11. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but these guys all have to play in college, but there's a reason why the NBA is in the building. Aiden Shirell is another reason. Just continues to make progress this season, both in the paint and facing up. Johnson passes out of the trap. 
Rodgers. And Shelley hits. Yeah, Shelley's smart. He knows his range is inside the arc, and he takes advantage. Reed doubled. Stokes lost it on the way up because he was fouled. And that's on Jasper Johnson, his third. Folks, this is 6'11", hanging out in the left corner. He's ready to shoot it. He has beautiful mechanics. Nice follow through, very fluid with his jump shot. But he's smart enough not to hang out on the three-point line. He knows he's a force on the offensive glass in the low post. And he moves exceptionally well at his size. I mean, he runs the floor with great effort and speed. Sherelle says that the Alabama coaching staff told him, we can play through you. Pick and pop, rolls to the basket. He has a varied offensive game at 6'11". And at 6'11", playing in the post, for the most part, especially on defense, he doesn't get in a lot of foul trouble. He is a smart defender. Maybe he can offer a little bit of what Grant Nelson has given Bama this year. Trey Johnson's fouled. A.J. DeBonza can't believe it. What a great individual matchup between Trey Johnson, top five in his class, A.J. DeBonza, number one in his. I didn't see a foul at all. No, I didn't either. He's got the hands up. He had the hands up the whole time. You know, a good defensive player will show his hands. If you show your hands, most likely the official will not call a foul on you. I don't know what else he could have done. Now, Trey Johnson did have that savvy move. Of, you, know, you almost want the defender on your back, trying to lean in a little bit for contact. 1-3-1. One, one. Try to trap it up high. Brady, the pull up, and he connects. Really smart attack by Prolific. They went side to side to corner, then the drive. Same play. Extra feed, Benjamin to Barrett, rolls out. Grady the rebound for prolific prep. Open look for Tyron Stokes. Knocked out of the hands of DeBonza. And a foul on Link. It's the second on Phylon. DeBonza and prolific up six. You better believe he's fired up. Oh, prolific with a six-point lead, thanks in part to Darion Reed, one of their three McDonald's All-Americans. Darion Reed has come out strong in this game with the assist, the finishing, the three-point shot. You know, he gives the game a little bit of everything on the offensive end, a smart player and a smart order by Chipotle. He's our Chipotle player spotlight. The bowl with chicken, queso. Yes, give some love to the queso blanco at Chipotle here on National Burrito Day. Queso and the shredded cheese, by the way. How about that? I think he's the first guy to order queso in the order. Is that yes, right? Yes, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. See, that's why he's smart. And double cheese. You really have respect. To, uh, yeah, respect. Big respect for him and his order. <laughs> but back to his game. <laughs> I'm just so happy that he's back and healthy because, you know, he went to prolific and he was one of their best players early in the season. Then the injury came and he had to sit out for a while. Just came back for the McDonald's game a little bit before that. And he looks in rhythm and in shape right now for prolific prep. DeBonza extends the lead to seven, so prolific has matched its largest lead of the game. And they're starting to do some work on the glass. That's where they they have the edge in this game. And remember, Link's big man, James Brown, the future Tar Heel on the bench with four personals. Under 10 to shoot for Phylon, who's going to Kansas. Barrett, oh, how about that dish to Brandon Benjamin? Just great execution by Link. They are not settling for three-point shots. They are looking to attack the basket and score in the paint. 
They already have 20 paint points in this game. Trey Johnson forced the turnover with the deflection. In and out on the three. He just needs one to go down, Trey Johnson, but he's playing well, just not shooting it well. Aiden Sherrell is shooting it well. Another triple for the big man. Get ready to run the pick and pop and some ghost screens, Nate Oates, for your big fella. Phylon the drop off. Back to Phylon for three. Money. Now, LeBaron Phylon averaged 35 points a game at Baker High School in Alabama last year. More of a pass first point guard this year with Link, but he can still hit. Yeah, he, he's adjusted his game to the talent around him this season. I think he's done an outstanding job trying to lead this team and score points at the same time. Five to shoot for Stokes. The jump stop and the finish. How tough was that? Did you see the ground that he covered Tyron Stokes? My goodness. And Phylon in the lane. The bucket and the foul. Watch Tyron Stokes. Class of 2026 puts it on the deck. That is a step dribble and a big time hop. And finish for Stokes. Phylon in the forest. Knocks it down with a chance for one more, maybe. Trying to cut the deficit to four for Link. Bill Armstrong says that Phylon has been the key to our success this year. He's the one who sacrificed the most, completely changed his role, playing with Trey Johnson and Jasper Johnson at the backcourt, and he chased down his own miss here, and the clock never started. After that miss free throw. And prolific. They were sleeping on that shot. As soon as it hit the rim, Phylon raced in, and got the offensive rebound, a really smart play. Got to get the clock sorted here. Not 16 seconds. How about 159 to go in the quarter? There we go. Yeah, Armstrong says, okay, Phylon might not be our best player, but he's our most important player because of his role. I love the class that Kansas has next year with him, Passmore, and Bidunga. Made of him. Kinshasa, Linus High School ball at Kokomo here in Indiana. Best big man in the class. Mikey Lewis out to Grady. Yes, sir. Winters Grady doing what he does best from the outside. Prolific doing a great job of creating opportunities for one another. So the lead up to eight. Trey Johnson, the kick, Phylon. He's got another three. Nothing but nylon for Phylon. You've been cooking that one up all day. It's been simmering. Big play after big play by each team. Final minute of the third. Grady underneath for Darion Reed. Winner's Grady. Looked like he had nothing going on. Somehow found his teammate under the basket. Trey Johnson lost out of bounds. Last touch by Prolific. Well, the kick to Winner's Grady. He is always ready to shoot the three. But not only can he knock it down, he's got vision to make the assist. He's given Prolific a great lift all season long. Currently number one on this team in three-pointers made. Jasper Johnson's back on the floor for Link, playing with three personals. Number two in the black, top ten junior. Phylon, laser-like feed, and Stutley missed it at the rim. Sherrill was right there. Well, Phylon set the screen. He slipped. He was wide open. And that's what Sherrill can do. He can make you change your shot and miss. Six second difference between the clocks. End of the quarter. Mikey Lewis in the ESPN 100 headed to St. Mary's. Stokes backing down Benjamin. 
And knocked out of bounds. Four to shoot here for Prolific. Not many can contain Tyron Stokes, but I'll tell you what, Benjamin, you know, he has the energy and the physique to do it. Benjamin at 6-7, just like Stokes. And a turnover here. Link with five. Trey Johnson. Knocked out of bounds by Stokes, 2.4. Corey Connor checks in for Prolific, senior from Seattle. As Trey Johnson, the future Longhorn, sends it in. Byline at the buzzer, well short. Wanted a foul, no whistle. Trey Johnson pleading his case. It's Prolific, prep up by seven on the way to the fourth quarterfinals at Chipotle Nationals. Norman, bad news. I never graduated from med school. But the good news is, Xfinity Mobile just got even better. Now, you can automatically connect to Wi-Fi speeds up to a gig on the go. Plus, buy one unlimited line and get one free for a year. I gotta get this deal. That's like $20 a month per unlimited line. I don't want to miss that. That's amazing. Mobile savings are calling. Visit XfinityMobile.com to learn more. And we're back. And the team is looking down the barrel of a 455 meeting. Can they turn it around and make this meeting an email? Jones is taking the ball and running with it. She's asking Grammarly to write the first draft of an email. What a play. Grammarly is an AI writing partner that helps you make your point. She's got a clear shot and it's good. Bazinga! It's a slam dunk. The meeting's canceled. They'll go home champion. Download Grammarly for free. Chipotle Basketball Nationals, presented by Army National Guard, is brought to you by Chipotle. Real ingredients, real flavor. Chipotle, for real. And Army National Guard, the next greatest generation, is now. Downtown Indy, Lucas Oil Stadium. We are just to the west in Brownsburg. Prolific prep, the three seed up by seven as we start the fourth quarter. Ted Emmerich, Paul B. and Cardi, our entire crew. Winner meets the two seed, Paul the sixth from the DMV, 101 points, yes, in a game that features eight-minute quarters. PVI lit it up, Darren Harris at 36. That'll be our first semifinal tomorrow, 2.30 Eastern on ESPN2. Ben Hammond, the point guard for Paul the Sixth, took control of the game down the stretch, just managing things for Paul the Sixth. Big fellow back, Patrick Ganga, number 20. Top 20 player in the ESPN 100, number 19 right now. Gave Paul the sixth a big lift inside. So prolific up by seven here as we start the fourth. Darion Reed leads the crew with a dozen. Couldn't get it to drop inside. And Reed is down here after the hard fall. Thing he just you hope his the back of his head doesn't hit the floor in a case like that. It's good to see him right back to his feet. But Darion Reed has checked out here. Yeah, you see when he came down at the very end, his head bounced off the ground. Give him a break, get him some water, let him watch a little bit. So Winters Grady, two in the white, right back in. Native of Lake Oswego, Oregon. He's had a couple of threes and given prolific big minutes here tonight. H.A. DeBonsa too strong, and it's cleared by Jalen Shelley in Link Academy. Oh, Shelley thought about it from that distance. And Shelley draws the foul. Shelley is really clever. He can beat you off one or two dribbles inside the arc. And once he gets into the paint, he knows that he can score. He can go around guys, he can go over guys. He's got a beautiful little pull-up jump shot. And being left-handed, you know, at times he's gonna create a lot of free throw opportunities for himself. 
And Bill Armstrong, his coach, told us, Paul, that effort for Shelley was an issue early in the season. Again, first year with Link, transferring as a senior, but he ramped it up over the course of the year and played his best ball in the last month leading into Chipotle. When you come to a school like Link Academy, a prolific prep, if you don't have that energy and effort on a daily basis, you're going to fall behind. The talent is too massive. 1-3-1 one, one zone by Link. Trying to see if they can have prolific take a bad shot or get a turnover. Stokes leans in, offensive foul, and it was Shelley who took the charge. One thing about the zone, it takes away the driving line. And that's what Tyrone Stokes loves to do most. Wow, Shelley took it right on the chops. And of all the players in this game, that's one guy I don't want to step in front of. It's Tyrone Stokes. Just built like a, a defensive end on the football field. And you have to remind yourself that he's still a sophomore in high school with crazy offensive skill and great physical measurables. Now Shelley for three. I also love the two-tone shoes here. One pink and one blue. For Tyron Stokes. Yeah, you got to be different somehow. Jump stop. All blocked by LeBaron Phylon. Who leads all scores with 15. Open look for Shelley. A.J. DeBonce is the number one junior in the country. Seven points on two of eight shooting tonight. Out to Sherrell. Give it to him. His third three. And a timeout for Prolific Prep as they grow the lead back to eight. Their largest of the game. The basketball IQ by DeBonce to make the pass. Aiden Sherrell, another triple in this game. Going to Alabama. Norman, bad news. I never graduated from med school. But the good news is, Xfinity Mobile just got even better. Now, you can automatically connect to Wi-Fi speeds up to a gig on the go. Plus, buy one unlimited line and get one free for a year. I gotta get this deal. That's like $20 a month per unlimited line. I don't wanna miss that. That's amazing. Mobile savings are calling. Visit XfinityMobile.com to learn more. Aww. That looks really high. It is high. Whenever you're ready. Are there any snakes? Nope. You sure? Here we go. It's time to push your limits. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> Whoa, is that a buffalo? Maybe that's a cow. <laughs> the Subaru Cross Trek Wilderness. Adventure on the Edge. Tonight at 9 Eastern over on ESPN, 24 of the best dunkers and shooters showcasing their skills. 35th annual State Farm College Slam Dunk and Three Point Championship. Speaking of threes, what about Aiden Shirell just moments ago for prolific prep? Well, watch the vision by A.J. Gibanza. He sees his man and he sees the help and then he finds his open teammate Aiden Shirell for three more. Draws the help, kick. And that's the third triple for Aiden Shirell. But the ability of A.J. DeBonza to draw the defender over, have the vision and the willingness to make the pass is one of the reasons he's number one in his class. It's not all about scoring and athleticism with DeBonza. You get multiple shapes to play with this week at Chipotle Nationals. I like playing with these toys. <laughs> See Sherelle and Reed, part of that top five recruiting class heading to Alabama. How do you feel if you're a Crimson Tide basketball fan right now? First Final Four and big time recruiting class on the way with two players from Prolific Prep. They're up eight here. Reed is trying to come up with it there. And a foul called on LeBaron Phylon of Link. We know these teams in Chipotle Nationals have great talent, great athletes. But when they decide to lock in defensively and you have a shot blocker and a rim protector and a rebounder like Aiden Shirell, when Prolific digs in, 
you, you can see why they played Montverde so tough. I mean, they have the pieces to win the whole thing. They played the number one team in the country better than anybody else this year. A couple of losses by single digits. And DePonza bowled over LeBaron Phylon. Yeah, we see Tyron Stokes do the same thing a few minutes ago. DePonza, a little bit out of control. These guys want to get to the basket and score and make the play as much as possible. And sometimes they get a little out of control. That's why you got to come to the jump stop, slow down, make the play. And it's hard for young guys because they're playing with such great emotion and excitement. Third personal on DeBonza. He remains out there. Moving and screen. Heading the other way. Offensive foul against Link. Good defense by Prolific. Everybody locked in. DeBonza chasing Johnson off the screen. By him chasing, the screener moved and created the offensive foul. Boy, oh, Link with four turnovers already here in the fourth, and they're just one of seven from the field. Back to the zone for Link. DeBonzo steps into it. DeBonzo hasn't shot it that well today. We've seen the playmaking. He's made an impact defensively as well. Trey Johnson lost it out of bounds. Make it the fifth turnover of the quarter for Link. Prolific, so long, so quick, agile, and, and they speed you up. They make you attempt shots that you're not ready to shoot. Trey Johnson has not hit a shot from the field today. Top five player in the senior class. He's 0 of 7. A couple of turnovers. And A.J. DeBonza, as you mentioned, only seven points. So two extremely talented players. Not scoring in this one because the defense is great. Wow. DeBonza to Reed again, and Reed is fouled. Boy, again, the playmaking ability of A.J. DeBonza with the double team coming. You don't see that at 6'8 with great verticality and quickness. Not only was it a great pass, he had two on him, and he made the pass. And then Reed with the split. A.J. DeBonza is a special person, special player. He's a team guy with superstar ability. Reed with one more. So Ryan Bernardi, the coach at Prolific, told us about DeBonza. I've seen more maturity from him late in the season. He understands more that every single play matters as we work towards Chipotle Nationals and a championship here. Think about some of the best players in high school basketball. Cooper Flagg, Cameron Boozer, A.J. DeBonza all have in common. They're all great passers. Pylon got bumped by Stokes, and the foul's called. I mean, when's the last time we saw 6'8", 6'9", and 6'9", be great passers, guys that move the ball, make the assist, keep the offense flowing? I mean, they are a new wave of talent in the game. And I hope the next generation copies the way they play. Link down nine, Phylon. James Brown back in the game with four personals, came up with it. Oh, did he just commit his fifth? He sure did. Or no, he turned it over. Just stepped out of bounds. And Brown remains in there, but prolific ball here with 4.17 to go. Again, the winner of this one to meet the two seed, Paul the Sixth, tomorrow, 2.30 Eastern on ESPN2 in the semifinals here at Chipotle Nationals. Back to the 1-3-1, leaves the corners open. Prolific has handled it well for the most part here in the second half. Lewis has lost it. Lewis tees it up. And an offensive foul. Lewis called for extending that leg as he fell down. Let's take third. a look. Mikey Lewis with the jump shot. Barrett with the closeout. See what happens. 
Well, they call him for a trip or they leg called, extension yeah, to they kick out. They called the foul right there. And that eliminated the offensive rebound putback. Yep. Mikey Lewis trying to understand what did I do wrong. Well, when you extend your leg and you kick out, that's an offensive foul. You've got to land where you jump from as an offensive player. The defense is supposed to allow you to land, but you can't extend the leg. Yeah, you can't land where the defensive player is landing there. Trey Johnson with his first field goal of the game. And maybe that'll spark him down the stretch. Oh, Jalen Shelley with a volleyball spike. And Shelley, how did that not go down? It'll be two free throws for Shelley. Great defense by Link. It's the 1-3-1. One, one. They're, they're disguising it at times as a man-to-man, -man, and Shelly gets it up on the rim. Looked like the roulette table in Vegas. <laughs> Went around and out. <laughs> you were there in December. I was, but I wasn't at the roulette tables. Uh -huh. Now Shelly closing in on a double-double. Again, committed to Arkansas, coming into the tournament. Wonder if things will change. Eric Musselman. Taking the job at USC. They had a two-man class, not only Shelley, but Isaiah Elohim out of Sierra Canyon. Right in California, just up the road from USC. Let's see if he changes his mind and goes to USC to right. play for his former coach, Eric Musselman. And his former teammate in high school, Bronny James, of course, was at USC as a freshman. He'll have some decisions to come as his dad pointed out earlier this week. So lead down to five for Prolific, and Stokes is stripped. Numbers for Link. Jasper Johnson for three. Offensive rebound, T.O. Barrett, future Missouri Tiger, and a timeout for Link here with 3.07 remaining. Link is fighting back in this game, and it's been their defense. They've turned it into offense. Prolific, a little bit casual in the half court set, shooting a few threes, not running their offense. Well, still to come, our last quarterfinal here at Chipotle Nationals, 8 Eastern here on ESPNU. Victorious VJ Miller and AZ Compass Prep. Miller just committed to LSU with us at halftime of this game. He'll step on the floor against the number one player in the nation, Cooper Flagg who is signed with Duke. Flag National Player of the Year by Gatorade. And a player who could very well be the number one pick in the 2025 NBA Draft. I know Montverde is 30-0. They've won their games by double figures. But that game tonight against AZ Compass Prep, that is going to be a lot closer than people think. I'm not saying AZ Compass is going to win, but it's going to be close. Trey Johnson, the fall away, rimmed out. Pretty good look for Trey Johnson. He is really good at those fadeaways, turnaround jumpers. He can make contested shots. Link needs a stop. They just got to continue to make stops, maybe try to get to the free throw line next possession. Stokes trapped. Looking for an outlet, trying to bounce it off James Brown, and instead it's a prolific turnover. They've had a few turnovers in the last couple of minutes. They've missed a couple of shots. Link has been very active defensively. Let's see if it can pay off. This would be huge to cut it to one possession. Trey Johnson, prolific, has made his life miserable here tonight. Probing in the lane, too strong. Ryan Bernardi's got to get a good look this possession. DeBonta to Lewis. Oh, way off. But they're not running offense. They, they have good, pretty good looks right there, but they, they need to run a set if they can. Try to settle down. Under two to play. Jasper Johnson feeds James Brown, playing with four personals, and couldn't get it to go against Sherrell. Elite defense by Sherrell. James wow, no Brown foul. knocks it out of Lewis's hands. No foul. And Trey Johnson with a sledgehammer for Link. 
It's a three-point game. He wasn't going to miss that one. Link can smell it. Prolific trying to close it. Just the second made field goal for Trey Johnson tonight. Dubonza, the top-ranked junior. Offensive foul. Link has climbed back into the game thanks to their defense. That might have been a foul, but regardless, Link pushes it. Phylon, been great all game long. Getting his brother and teammate involved, Trey Johnson. So DeBonsa followed with his fourth personal foul and a timeout here for Prolific as the lead is down to three. And if I think for Ryan Bernardi, he's got to just settle his group down. If Link is going to trap, they're going to press, play a zone, just make sure you get a quality look, whether it's a three or a two. Can't hesitate now, but you don't want to be rushed into taking a shot. The other thing is they've had a few charges, a few turnovers. They've got to make sure they get a shot off. And if you're Link right now, another stop, another score, and put the pressure on Prolific. Again, after the fourth personal on DeBonza, it is Link ball. Jalen Shelley and the Lions from Branson, Missouri on a 6-0 burst here. They have forced eight turnovers by Prolific here in the fourth quarter. Let's see if they run that open side screen. They ran it a lot in the third quarter. Bylon, under a minute to play. James Brown goes reverse side, and it's a one-point game. Great set by Bill Armstrong. The staggered double screen, they had the slip wide open. And a steal by Trey Johnson ahead to Phylon. Foul with 44 and a half to go. Link comes out of the timeout. And they got a slip on the weak side. Beautiful look by Phylon. And how about the defense? Active, hands high. And they convert quickly. Right back in this game with a chance to tie it and take the lead. Phylon Link's leading scorer here tonight at the stripe. The future Kansas Jayhawk ties the game. You know, when you think about Trey Johnson, you, the NBA scoring package. All right, shots aren't falling here tonight. He has displayed the two attributes he has worked on the most as a senior as a playmaker and as a defender. And that's a sign of a player who is now mature. Maybe a year ago, his jump shot would affect his game. In and out, but it's off DeBonsa and prolific. Link ball, 44.1. All game long, prolific was the aggressor in my opinion, for the most part. Now, Link has taken over that in the fourth quarter and their defense has changed the complexion of this game a chance to go on top link academy the champions of this event a year ago byline with a good look give it to him They had plenty of time on the shot clock. Give a lot of credit to Trey Johnson. He gets it right here on the handoff. He drives, sucks in the defense, all four defenders. Then they kick it out to Phylon, and he gets some more nylon. But Trey Johnson made that play happen, getting into the paint, drawing four defenders, and giving it up. That is a big-time play by Trey Johnson. And that's a clutch shot for LeBaron Phylon. It's the first lead for Link since it was 17-16 in the second quarter. And the numbers for the McDonald's All-American heading to Texas, Trey Johnson didn't hit a shot from the floor until the fourth quarter. But here tonight, it's been all about the assists. That might be the best six points and six assists he's ever had in his life because they came the biggest moment 
in this game. Link has scored 12 in a row. Prolific down three. Just a shade of a difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Stokes, top ranked sophomore in the country. Reed. Sherrill fights for the offensive board. Final seconds for the tie. DeBunts is fouled. And with 2.8 remaining, the number one junior in the nation can tie the score from the line. Desperation by Prolific. Not much contact, if any at all, wow. in that jump shot. But that could turn into a good foul. Oh, and DeBonza got the shooter's roll with the first. Two more for you a never, chance to tie. Yeah, you never want to foul a guy in the act of shooting. And there wasn't much contact from Trey Johnson there at all. Missed the second. That's why. Now, now he may have to miss it. Well, hang on now. Link is upset. Are they going to give DeBonza the free throw back? Again, with the second free throw, did Link move early in the lane when there's no reason to? The second one is good, and DeBonza will have one more. So a lane violation, we do believe, they're on the second free throw. And Trey Johnson is livid here. All right, let's take a look. You can't wave your hands. Let's see if there's any hand waving. Yeah. Oh, it was the clap there on the right. Was that Phylon? It was. You, you can't wave your arms. You can't be a distraction. Yeah on the free throw line. I mean, there's no reason to move. You can't call a lane violation there, and they weren't, but trying to distract DeBonza. LeBaron Phylon called for that violation. And so, coming out of the timeout, DeBonza with one more, and he can knot it up. Well, he's got to try to make it, but Prolific needs to be ready if he misses it for the tip out or the putback. You only need a deuce if you're prolific, if he misses. And we are all square at 56. One more look at the clap by LeBaron Phylon. Now, if you're prolific, you do not foul. Game's tied. Trey Johnson inbound. Final seconds for the win! Overtime at Chipotle Nationals with the free throws from A.J. DeBonza. We're tied at 56, and we got to put more time on the clock to decide this quarterfinal. All right, one more look now how we ended up here. Check out one in the black, LeBaron Phylon with the clap. Can't do it. Had his hands up, and then he went to clap over his head. Referee called that a violation. The give and go. Maybe had another dribble. Really good look. What about 2.8 to go? So put four minutes on the clock. Overtime. Here at Brownsburg High School, just west of Indianapolis. Now for Prolific, boy, they are loving that we're in overtime right now. Remember a year ago when Blue Cane Delivered the dagger to the heart for IMG from about half court. Trey Johnson couldn't hit that for Link here this year. And OT it is. Prolific had control of this game. They really did. It started to slip away. Link forced a lot of turnovers. They converted from their defense. They put themselves in a position to win it. And if you're prolific right now, you feel really good about going into overtime. Prolific was up by nine with 440 remaining. But turnover after turnover, allowing Link back in it. And DeBonzo with the free throws in the final seconds. Underway in overtime. 
here in the quarterfinals at Chipotle High School Nationals as we find out who the best high school basketball team in the country is this week. Winner to play Paul the sixth tomorrow in the semifinals. Under 10 to shoot for Trey Johnson. Top five player in the class going to Texas. And Trey Johnson with a tray to start OT. That step back is Trey Johnson's signature move. And he did it against A.J. DeBonza, 6'8", who's a super athlete on the ball. DeBonza, the jump stop, ran into a crowd, loose ball. Possession arrow is with Link. Check out Trey Johnson, the right leg goes hard into DeBonza. That creates space, the step back, the quick release, and he's got some high elevation on his jump shot. You know, he's 6'6 with a 6'10 wingspan. One of the best long-range shooters in the class. Arrow did favor prolific after all. Crew has it, 11 to shoot. Grady, cash! We're tied again! Boy, he shoots it with ultimate confidence. Winters Grady. Doesn't take him long to get it off either. 14 big points off the bench for the Oregon native. Shelley spins past Grady and puts it in. Trey Johnson, again, playmaking with the ball in his hands. I think you're going to see that from Link down the stretch. They're going to give it to Johnson to either score or create for others. Grady wants another. And James Brown is playing with four personal fouls. Comes down with the rebound for Link. They're up two, nearing the two-minute mark in overtime. And I love the way LeBaron Phylon just said, you got it, you take it. Trey Johnson, the step back over DeBonza. DeBonza got a piece of it. He was ready for the step back on that shot. And DeBonza, the lob, Sherrill with the finish. We are even at 61. Absolutely incredible next level athletes making human highlight plays in this game down the stretch. We are looking into the future. Every single year at Chipotle Nationals, we're certainly doing it in this game with 11 ESPN ranked players and four McDonald's All-Americans. Trey Johnson banks it home. What a high basketball IQ. He knew he couldn't get the shot off against DeBonza. Took that extra pivot and step through. Made it happen. Again, he didn't hit a shot from the floor until the fourth quarter. Oh, Stokes turns it over. Aiden Shirell wasn't looking. DeBonza on both ends. Watch him get a piece of this shot. Clean contest, nice piece deflection, and then into the lane, the lob to Shirell, going left, throwing it right. He is playing point guard for Prolific in overtime. Just like Trey Johnson is for Link here down the stretch. Two-point lead for Link Academy, the champions of this event a year ago. Phylon fouled with six on the timer. And free throws for Phylon. And hopefully he's all right. Might be cramping up here in OT. Yeah, you can see by his facial expression. He's got a Charlie Haas in there. That thing is cramped up. Bring him the Gatorade bottles. Gotta love that Trey Johnson's trying to help massage the cramp before he steps to the line. Trey Johnson, scoring package and a physical therapist. <laughs> well, remember, at the end of regulation, Phylon was the one who was called for the distraction of A.J. DeBonza at the line, giving DeBonza another chance to tie it. He cashed in, and now can Phylon make this a four-point game? 
Missed the first. And man, he's clearly hurting. Yeah, when you shoot your free throw, at the end, you go up on your toes. You know, your calf is into the shot at the very end. And it looks like he can't rise up on his toes because his calf is cramped. All right, to make it a three-point game. Knocks that one down. And tell you Phylon's what, coming out. He toughed through that one. Seemed like the second one was a little bit easier than the first. The first one, he looked really stiff. Future Missouri Tiger, T.O. Barrett checks in for Phylon. Three in the black. Prolific down three, under 40 seconds in overtime. Deponsa gliding to the rim, soaring above everyone. And a timeout for Prolific as they cut it to one with 31.9. A.J. Debonsa just lets his instincts take over. They pass it. They find the open pocket of space. Debonsa right to the rack. There was no play. It was players making plays. With that much space on the floor, Debonsa understands what his role is for this team. Get to the basket and score or find someone else. So Phylon trying to manage the cramp on the bench. Slight difference between the clocks here now. Two second difference, link up by one. And if I'm prolific right now, I'm going for some traps. I've got plenty of time. I'll foul after over half court, but I want to get one or two traps to see if they'll cough it up, turn it over, we convert, and take the lead. If not, then you have to foul. You yeah. got about 10 seconds, 12 seconds before you foul. Yeah, you can't play this out with just a no. two second difference between the clocks. But you can't let too much time go off the clock. Here comes the first trap. Jasper oh, Johnson out. spins out of it. Ahead to Trey Johnson. Yeah, Link wants to play keep away right now. Move the ball. Uh, 10 seconds have gone by. When do you foul if you're prolific? Five seconds ago. And there it is with 16.1. You have to tell your team in the huddle, look, we've got X amount of seconds, and if we don't cough it up and get the turnover, then we got a foul. It's the fourth personal on Mikey Lewis. And Jasper Johnson from Lexington, Kentucky. The number eight player in the junior class steps to the line. Cool under pressure with the first. He made that free throw like it was a practice shot. Top 10 player in the class. He is a dynamic, and I mean dynamic, offensive player. But to show this confidence, the game on the line is impressive. Shooters bounce. Three-point lead for Link. 16 seconds. Let's see what they do defensively. Can DeBonsa deliver again for prolific prep? Over Trey Johnson for the tie. Yes! He's number one in the class for a reason. A.J. DeBonsa put so much time into his game. He is constantly in the gym trying to perfect his jump shot. A couple of dribbles, a great contest by Trey Johnson. And a massive three-point shot to tie this game by A.J. DeBonsa, the number one player in 2025. Three free throws at the end of regulation. And now the triple here near the end of overtime. 66 all with 4.2. You think about some of the things that DeBonsa did this summer, worked out with LeBron, LeBron James, Chris Paul, Paul George. He attended the Jason Tatum camp, the Steph Curry camp. Why? He wants to go against the best. He wants to learn more, and he wants to be the best. He is the best in his class. He's one of the best overall, regardless of class. I would say it's between him and Cooper Flagg. We just saw the number two junior, Cameron Boozer, help Columbus 
to the semifinals here at Chipotle Nationals. Dibatsa trying to lead prolific to the semis as well. 4.2 left. And link ball. Now, if you're prolific, do not foul. Because it will be one and one. It will be the bonus situation if you foul. It would be two free throws. Stay in front. Keep a cushion between you and the ball. Final seconds. Phylon. Stokes got a piece of it. And we're heading to double overtime here in Brownsburg. Well, Stokes did a really good job going step for step with LeBaron Phylon. Watch this, step for step. No foul, contest. Forces him into a tough shot. That was full court, one-on-one -on -one defense by Tyron Stokes. We have seen so many Sports Center top 10 highlight plays, clutch plays, effort plays. It's been amazing. So on to double overtime for Prolific. Let's look back to last year. In the quarterfinals, tie game, end of regulation against IMG Academy. Blue Kane from half court. Now a Georgia Bulldog. And Kane just broke the hearts of Prolific Prep down in Fort Myers. And this year, Prolific Prep heading to double OT. Well, we're, we're due for a buzzer beater here. First game was a blowout. Paul the sixth over IMG. Columbus in a tough win over Lujai. And this has been an instant classic. LeBaron Phylon getting cramped up in the first overtime. Leads all scorers with 20. For prolific prep, DeBonsa and Shirell with 15 apiece. Another four minutes on the board here in the second overtime. Don't forget now, DeBonsa has four fouls. And so does James Brown, who dishes to Phylon for the triple to start the second OT. Phylon with 23, including five from downtown. They're putting Jasper Johnson on A.J. DeBonsa. He's been the point guard for prolific in this game. DeBonsa, no. Reed was trying to follow. Shelley came down with it. Foul is called here. And it's against James Brown. Oh, prolific. That's his fifth. So the future Tar Heel is done. Like you said, Paul, Link pretty thin up front. Big loss here in the second overtime for Link Academy. Yeah, if you're Bill Armstrong, I think you have to go with T.O. Barrett. You're much smaller, but he's tough. He plays big. You got a matchup problem against Aiden Shirell. But right now, the bench is thin. You need offense. I like the sub. Reed hits the first, so the tallest player on the floor now for Link Paul is Jalen Shelley at 6'8. Yeah, if Sherelle gets it inside, they'll just have to double team him. Again, Aiden Sherelle, 22 in the white, headed to Alabama, 6'11. Reed misses the second. But if I'm prolific on offense, I want to post up Tyron Stokes or DeBonza. They have the advantage. Shelley on the move, cut off by Grady. Back into the hands of Trey Johnson, number five player in the senior class, and he turns it over. Difference maker, Aiden Shirell, extended that long wingspan, got the deflection. DeBonza, the reason we're in double overtime. Shirell, catch and shoot. Money! Aiden Shirell with his 4-3 in as many attempts, and Prolific is on top. What a game he's having. Seven for eight overall, four for four from three, eight rebounds and three assists and two blocks.
Eight to shoot for Phylon. Shelly tees it up. Oh, he banked it in! Another banker against Prolific here at High School Nationals. That's really not his range. But the ATM was open. Two minutes to play in the second overtime. DeBonsa, too strong. Jasper Johnson, the runner goes, and it's a four-point lead for Link. Link took the DeBonsa miss and just pushed it down the floor. Prolific. They didn't get back. DeBonsa leaning in is fouled. Well, two of the biggest guys on the court with back-to-back -back threes. How about Aiden Shirell moving to get open? That was beautiful. Shelly, deep off the window, says, I'll take it. A la Jordan in the finals some 30 years ago. I was thinking more of Michael O'Connell for NC State off the glass against Virginia in the ACC tournament, but okay. Gotta love the shrug here at Nationals. So DeBonsa hits the first, one more. O'Connell's shot was off the glass. I got you, I know you, what you're you talking about, You don't see many Paul. guys bank threes in big games, in big moments. Minute and a half to go, link by two. In overtime number two. Paul the sixth awaits the winner in the semifinals tomorrow. Trey Johnson against DeBonsa. What a matchup. Two future NBA players. The kick. Phylon, one more. And DeBonsa the rebound, and he's running. He's got to stay in control. And DeBonsa following third chance. And a foul is called. A.J. DeBonsa is possessed right now. And you love the effort. You love the passion. The first attempt, not bad, but had the aggressiveness to go follow it up. Just missed it. He's got to make sure that he stays in control. He just can't put his head down and go to the basket every time. Paul, you can see the fatigue written on DeBonsa's face. He can tie it up with the next free throw. Here inside of a minute in double overtime. Yeah, but this kid's special. Made three free throws to tie it up. Made another big three. He's been huge in this game. A.J. DeBonsa delivers again here in crunch time. Timeout for Prolific. Tied at 74. Big time scoring. Seven assists in this game, only two turnovers. There isn't anything he can't do, but again, if he puts his head down and just tries to go, he's got to be careful. Now, Link, how are you going to score here? Get to the basket, try to get to the free throw line. The referees are going to blow the whistle this far in double overtime. Remember, still to come here on ESPNU, our last quarterfinal here at Chipotle Nationals, the eight seed Arizona Compass Prep will take their shot against the number one team in the country, 30 and 0, Montverde, a team that features three McDonald's All-Americans like Prolific. Cooper Flagg, number one player in the senior class. Derek Queen, the McDonald's All-American game MVP. And the best shooter in 2024, Liam McNeely. And there is Cooper Flag, Ready to step on the floor, but A.J. DeBonsa and company aren't done yet. What a matchup here. Trey Johnson with the ball, top five in the senior class against A.J. DeBonsa. The shovel to T.O. Barrett. Count it, and a foul! Link Academy on top. Trey Johnson with the blow by against DeBonsa. Goes right past him. Beautiful shovel pass. Tio Barrett with the pump fake. Gets everyone up in the air and then squeezes it off. Big smile going to Missouri. And again, the vision 
from Trey Johnson. His rep as a scorer, and he's been a playmaker today. Bill Armstrong told us his playmaking and his competitive nature, most people don't see it. They haven't talked about it enough. Well, tonight, it's been loud and clear. DeBonsa chiseling and scoring. Lead down to one for Link. And Ryan Bernardi calls Prolific's final timeout. A.J. DeBonsa can create his own shot against anyone in the game. Takes a couple of bumps, changes direction, beats the help defender. He's got great body control. That, that's NBA-ish right there. You beat one, you pull up before the help defense, you keep your concentration. I mean, he's got all the signs for that big guard at the next, next level. It's very early, but he could very well be the number one pick in the 2026 NBA draft. Unless he reclassifies and moves up. Never know with these kids. Well, he's already reclassified. He was a freshman last high school season, now a junior. He turned 17 in January, did A.J. DeBonsa. You didn't hear it from me, okay? All right. But a lot of these guys make moves at the end to reclassify. Link up one. Again, a slight difference between the clocks. Wind is prolific. Foul here. Jasper Johnson. Oh, foul Teo Barrett for the bucket. And it's a three-point game again. If you're going to trap, you must protect the rim. You can give up the three, but not the layup. DeBonsa blocked by Shelley. Got a foul. Play and keep away. Phylon fouled by Reed with 3.2 to go. Jalen Shelley getting a hand up against DeBonsa. Link Academy with composure on the offensive end. Prolific trying to trap. They find the open man and Barrett almost too easy. And on the defensive end, Jalen Shelley with a gorgeous straight up contest. Blocks the shot. Might have won the game with that block. This free throw can make all the difference in the world. Bylon's leg coming off the cramps in the first overtime. Looks to be just fine now. He can make it a five-point game as Link calls timeout. Boy, DeBonsa had a chance to deliver the heroics yet again. And Jalen Shelley, a top 50 player in the senior class, using his length to get a piece of that three. Well, Bill Armstrong put Jalen Shelley on DeBonsa just for that purpose. I mean, there's nobody that can stop A.J. DeBonsa, but you can contest his shots. That time, we got a block shot. He's a little bit taller than Trey Johnson and T.O. Barrett. Great matchup for Link on that possession. And how about the clutch free throw by LeBaron Phylon? Now, if you're prolific, you've got about two dribbles. Then you got to get a shot off. If you're Link, let the shot go. Do not foul. Do not even get close to the offensive player. Already a four-point game. Phylon can... Build the lead to five. DeBonsa puts it up, and it's over. Link Academy wins this roller coaster ride at Chipotle Nationals, 80 to 76 in double overtime. And the champions from a year ago are on their way to the semifinals. And you see the emotions from Darion Reed, one of Prolific's three McDonald's All-Americans. Prolific season comes to an end in heartbreaking fashion here at Nationals for the second straight year. Without question, that was one of the best games we've ever had at Nationals. Each team giving it all they have. Big time players making spectacular plays, highlight plays, next level plays. You feel bad for Prolific Prep 
They came back so many times, but Link finished them off at the end with a block and a bucket. And we'll see the Lions from Branton, Missouri tomorrow at 2.30 Eastern on ESPN2 as they match up with Paul the Sixth. That'll be a rematch from the quarterfinals in this tournament a year ago. Columbus in the semis to play the winner of our last quarterfinal. Top seed Montford, the eight seed Arizona Compass Prep. Thanks to LeBaron Phylon, Trey Johnson and company. They were able to get a hand on A.J. DiBonza after all. And 80 to 76 is the final in double overtime. For Paul Biancardi, this is Ted Emmerich saying so long for now. Coming up in about 10 minutes here on ESPNU, we will have Montford and AZ Compass as we close out the quarterfinals at Chipotle Nationals.